for some blocks. She's over here. Holy crap, you are hot. Okay, guys, the strippers are here. Excuse me, it's coming through. All right, ladies, let's get into the face. Thank you. Excuse me, clear path coming through. Thank you, thank you. Hi, what's her name? Betty. Jennifer. Sorry, I thought you meant my truck. This is your truck. Yeah, but it's not like I backed into her. She did this out of her own free will. But you dared her to. We were flirting. Your idea of flirting with the girl is daring her to stick her head in your tailpipe. <laughs> oh, man. Hi, Jennifer, LAFD, how you feeling? Uh, pretty good, actually. Except for this whole, you know, ginormous tailpipe on my head. Hey, Jennifer, you're going to feel me poking around? We're just checking you out, OK? All right. Why is this tailpipe so large? It's custom. Did she get these bruises on her arm? That wasn't me. It's from the bull. She wrote it like five times. There's no way we're going to get a collar on her. I got it. Get me out of this thing. Yeah, these things are meant to increase the power to the engine. Yep. TSA 230 soft should do the job. Oh, yeah, like a knife through butter. Jim? Excuse me. Way ahead of you, Cap. What? No, I spent 1200 bucks on that tailpipe. You might want to close your eyes during this part. Just type your number in my phone, and I'll text you so you have mine. Thanks, but I actually have a girlfriend, and I need folks right now so my captain doesn't cut your friend's head off. Hi. Do you have Snapchat? No, and I, I don't think I'm what you're looking for. I, I have a sign. That's great. So do I. I think I'm going to puke. You better not. These fire guys are totally hot. All right, what say we move the peanut gallery? A few sips over his sleigh. Thank you. Everybody back a little bit. Thank you. All right, Jennifer, keep your head completely still. You're going to hear a lot of noise, but everything is fine. Would you like us to transport you to the hospital, get checked out? She just needs another drink. No, what she needs to do is go home. All three of you do, in a cab. Listen to me. When you sober up, you feel like you have a headache or blurry vision, or you feel confused, you got to get yourself to a hospital. Do you understand? <laughs> <laughs> no. Condolences on Betty. Here. Okay. Yeah. Hey, so is your son really the reason you don't date? That and the one my type. I need it. Not anymore. But I'm talking in general. It's complicated when you have a kid. Come on, it's a weak excuse. You live in your invisible girlfriend's house and you're telling me about weak excuses. Yes. Hello? What? Which one? 